Hello guys, uh, today we are going to see the project demonstration of uh, Woman Safety System using IoT. Actually, uh, uh, this project concept is like uh, making a safety device for women uh, using uh, GSM and GPS. Actually, uh, the concept is in case of emergency situations, actually in recent days we are seeing a lot of uh, women's harassments or uh, like women's threatening activities like that are going on so to prevent the women from those kind of uh, activities we are proposing a, a, a concept a concept in the sense uh, proposing a device which is going to be a, a informative and uh, at, uh, useful to the woman at the time of uh, emergency situations so uh, let us see what are the things we are going to develop here actually in this project we are going to use so this is the block diagram of the project so actually the uh, uh, gsm and gps is going to be play a major role and also we are using a iot platform uh, where we can able to track the uh, women's lively so actually the concept is uh, we are going to uh, have a four sensor oled display microcontroller a battery gsm model and gps attached with a Wi-Fi connection. So uh, actually the concept is if any persons holds or if any persons doing a force kind of activity with a human means the force sensor will get activated. Once the force sensor is get activated the microcontroller will process the analog data and it will show how much of force is applied by that uh, opposite human. The force will be calculated and it will be displayed in the OLED and if, if a, a human is uh, uh, got any harassment or get any emergency situation the force will be applied uh, too much so if a threshold limit exceeded immediately a G gps mo gsm modem will send a sms sos message to a emergency contact number so that the ca caretaker parents or guardian over the uh, responsible for the per person can get an alert that the woman woman is in uh, emergency situation or some kind of uh, danger situations and also here the gps model will track the live locations and it will record in the iot so that if the device is get damaged or if the device is removed from the woman uh, this gps is keep on logging the uh, uh, latitude and longitude value that is location so that we can easily track at which location that uh, at the woman was present at last time so it was uh, powered by a battery and uh, this is the abstract and this is a block diagram okay let us see the demonstration this is the hardware setup so as i discussed in the block diagram the components we are using a gsm modem a wi-fi device gps oled display pressure sensor all are interconnected with a microcontroller so this is the overall setup so a power supply unit was designed using that uh, voltage regulator and a power supply given through a battery now the first step is we need to give the internet connection to this device so for that we are my developer is uh, setting up a wi-fi connection actually in the wi-fi device we already set a username as iot and password will be 129 so this is how the wi-fi was connected once the wi-fi is connected we got a display that woman safety system so in the display we are seeing that the current pressure of the pressure sensor so now the pressure is like uh, around 500 so actually this is the analog value we are not uh, calculating the exact pressure like in ppm or uh, some other uh, bar ratios so we are just giving whatever the analog values received from the microcontroller and we are displaying here in the oled now you can see that uh, if, if we are giving a pressure to that uh, pressure sensor so it the, the value will be increased so once the certain threshold value will be get increased it will show help like that okay now you you saw in the demo go up to 800 so once the pressure was given you received an sms sos sms like i'm, I'm in emergency please help okay you can see in the demo 
here uh, to the mobile number predefined mobile number the sms was sent actually the sms was sent using that gsm modem so the uh, gsm modem size was little bit big why because the components which we are using is available uh, uh, from online so actually if you are making this project uh, or making this device compactable then we design our own modem but this gsm modem was purchased from uh, market so the size will be like bigger and also coming to the wi-fi device and gps everything will be the same okay so uh, once again my developer is uh, checking with the uh, four sensor and uh, we got an uh, sos message and uh, this is one part of our project uh, using this hardware here the information the gps information will be lively uh, taken from the gps device and uh, through a wi-fi connection it will be transferred to the iot cloud now see, let us see that uh, how the data was coming and storing in the cloud database we have crea created a uh, website uh, in live where all the information collected from the devices will be stored in the database and it will be retrieved using a web application this is a web application which was developed using php mysql so the initial stage is uh, yeah, you have to register with your device so this is the registration process and after that you need to log in with your user given username and password for example uh, if the device is connected with more than 20 people means 20 users have different different username and password so once the username and password was entered the particular uh, pages of the particular uh, woman will open let us see so for the particular person the live history will be stored in the database this is the database table actually here you can see the pressure uh, safety status latitude longitude and the date and time so in which date and which time uh, the live location was stored in the database actually using google maps we can uh, call up this latitude and longitude we can able to trace out the exact location of the woman where they are present so this is the iot application this application will be laterally we can able to convert into mobile app also or whatever the application we required we can convert into that and also this uh, iot application is capable of storing more than thousands of records if you want we can uh, record up to 10 days 15 days like that continuous tracking every one minute every 10 minute every 15 minutes we can able to trace and we can make a record where the woman is roaming out by this method uh, we can also track where wherever the woman goes in the outer world actually the web, website is loading you are you can see the database data will be updated okay you can see the live updation of the data now if we copy and place the latitude and longitude you can see the live location where the particular person was available actually we can integrate the google uh, map here itself but it's a paid service so that's what we copy and paid in uh, uh, copy and paste it in the google and i'll show you the live location you can see that the data is getting updated for example you see now the number one is 854 pressure no problem no problem like that so here you can see i need help 879 is the pressure and live latitude longitude will be stored and also you can see that the time and data data has been lively updated in the web page so actually this is the uh, database table uh, we didn't develop any web applications if you want we can customize a website and we can able to do a attractive application where user can easily inter easily interfaceable here the latitude and longitude longitude details will be copied and if we paste it in that uh, google we got the exact location actually this is the this is called zero review document and these are all the components we have used in this project uh, microcontroller gps microcontroller we use arduino nano and a gps module gsm module force sensor oled display a battery 12 volt amps battery and uh, soldering kit and uh, connecting wires required to build this circuit and uh, the software is required arduino ide where we are going to do the programs and embedded is the language the language which is used in that arduino ide and php mysql is a web application which is developed 
to see that uh, uh, website so here we given the existing system and this is the proposed system in existing system there is no uh, such a device which is uh, uh, traceable in real time like that at all so in proposed system we are proposing this uh, gps gsm along with live tracking uh, activities so this is about the abstract and uh, coming to the base paper so this is the base paper of the project actually this uh, project was already being proposed in this uh, international conference on uh, communication and electronic systems in the year 2020 uh, it was published in uh, IEEE uh, explorer um, the conference record on the isbn was given in the top of this base paper so actually this is the uh, base paper of this project in this base paper they have uh, implemented with uh, several uh, sensors actually they use like uh, pressure sensor temperature sensor pulse rate sensor push button uh, so a lot of activities they have, they have implemented but here we we developed a compact device uh, this is very big device which we easily traceable by the uh, opposite person so we developed this project as a tiny device so we removed the uh, sensors like temperature pulse rate and push button are, are, are not required in our project so we used only pressure sensor uh, gsm gps and a buzzer and we have added a wi-fi device here in this project, in this base paper, they, they didn't use a Wi-Fi device, IoT device, where we can't able to uh, track lively. But in our project, we implemented a Wi-Fi. That is how we proposed a new uh, concept compared to this base paper. So if you want, we can also implement the temperature, pulse rate, push button at all. But this is unnecessary. Why? Because we are lively tracking the woman. And if it is an emergency situation, it will automatically set. So these are all the base papers. So this is a project we developed uh, if you require these type of projects you can contact us thanks for watching